I've never done boxed wine before. <laughs> so this is our first experience with boxed wine. Boxed we wine. had no idea what to go with, so we picked Franzia because it's the most well-known and the most popular. So we had to like look up the directions on the bottom, <laughs> like how does this even work? So the reason that we're videoing this and showing that we have wine is because every year my family does a wine competition. Basically, everybody brings a bottle of wine. Well, technically they bring two bottles of the same wine. Um, and then we put them all in brown paper bags and it's blind taste testing. And so everybody gets to taste all the wines and then they score each wine. And then whoever's wine gets the most points wins and their prize is the second bottle that everyone brings. They get all the wine, all the second bottle that everybody brings. So it's a fun competition. We've been doing this for like, I think this will be the third year we do it. So it'll be fun. My family likes a lot of sweet wine. There's a couple people like Anthony, my brother, my sister-in-law, like they like more of the dry wines, but most of my family likes sweet. I like sweet wine. Anyway, Anthony and I have done this two years now and we've lost horribly we, both times. Because we try to bring good wine. We bring like a red, I think it's like semi-sweet wine and it never does well. You can't do red wine with my family. So uh, this year we're going to try something totally different. And we're gonna maybe play a prank on my family or try and trick them. I don't know if you guys have ever seen, but Anthony was telling me about it. Like they have videos of people like blind taste testing wine and they'll have like a box wine and then they'll have like a super fancy wine. And what, like almost every time people pick the box wine, like they say that tastes better. So we've never, had box wine we don't know if it tastes better we're not really big wine drinkers anyway so i don't know if i would know the difference we're hoping that my family doesn't know the difference so that it has a fair shot of winning they had like a million box wine at the store we made sure to get one that had the sweetness like all the way like they had like a sweetness meter and most of them were like mild sweet or semi-sweet mostly sweet. We got the Moscato, which was all the way at the highest sweet level. That's what we are doing tonight. Anthony is filling our first wine bottle. So we had to get a couple things to make this look real. Obviously, we couldn't just show up with a box of wine because people would know our ruse. And so what we did was we went on Amazon and we found just like clear plastic bottles of wine like these they're not plastic they're glass oh sorry i mean glass um how many do we get like six, six. and then uh we also got corks to go with them so we can bottle it and then we also got what are those black things called honey labels no 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 that go on the top uh, uh they're just I, I don't know exactly they're a seal they're a shrink wrap seal Okay, so we got black shrink wrap seals to make it look like legit. <laughs> Not that they're, I don't even think they're really going to see it because it's going to be in a brown paper bag. But just in case, like just to keep up the ruse, that's what we're going to do. We're getting our wine ready. Thanksgiving is in two days. Mm -hmm. And so we're just trying to prep now. We have to bring our wine and then, oh yes, we also got labels because... We just want to keep up the ruse, and so that way if they, like, accidentally see the bottle or something, which they might because, I don't know, unless we, like, immediately put it in a brown paper bag. Well, I have brown paper bags here, so we could just bring them in our own bags. But just in case, we're just going to be like, oh, we took the label off and put our own label on just to, like, keep it secretive. So Anthony's been dying to um, fill these wine bottles up and I've been telling him to wait because I was just worried that the wine was going to like go bad or stale or I don't know. Can that even happen to wine? I don't even know. It can. So anyway, I said okay because it's two days before. So hopefully the wine will stay good. I mean with the cork and stuff in it. You just got to keep it nice and chilled. 
yeah that's true we need to put it in our fridge which our fridge does not have like any room so that'll be fun Oh, snap. I do bad if I do say so myself. So what do you guys think? Does this look real? Comment down below if you think it looks like a real wine well, that you could buy at the store. Oh, I see. We got to put that on first. Give it a second. And, and also comment down below if you guys think that we're going to trick my family. Yes, because one thing that... Hi, Allison. One thing that... Um, <laughs> Chin's family is very high on his very sweet wine, so we thought we'd get the Moscato, very, very sweet. Also very cheap, because your mom has admittedly said that they do like cheap wine, so mm -hmm. we went with literally the cheapest one we could find. Yeah, I was um, kind of dying because when I went to the store, it was actually on sale. <laughs> so I think it was like $24 and we got it for $20 like it was on sale so it's perfect it comes it the box fills up 34 glasses so I think it'll fill up like what four bottles of wine maybe or something six bottles of wine I don't know it'll fill up a lot so anyway that's what we're doing tonight and then also with my family they do a baking competition I took a I did a video last year when we did our gingerbread fudge, which did not do well in the competition. It basically, each year my mom picks an ingredient and then everybody makes a dish with, uh, with using that ingredient. And then we all taste test them and then whoever gets the most points wins. And I think they win like $100. But what's this year's ingredient? <laughs> uh, we've never won. I think like our rock candy came, did semi good the first year. Last year, our gingerbread fudge did not did not do well at all. Garrett liked it, and that's all. That yeah, was. Garrett liked it, and I think Anthony did. It was okay, just like it wasn't sweet. Nope. Go figure. Spicy. Yeah, it just it tasted like fall in your mouth. That's what I kept saying last year. Anyway, so this year the ingredient is vanilla, and so we decided to make homemade ice cream because my family absolutely loves ice cream when we go on vacations we try to fit ice cream like into the budget oh yeah so here's the ice cream that we've made for Not our ice cream completely competition completely solid yet needs to freeze a little more so anyway knowing how much my family loves ice cream we decided to do that and um, for my birthday, like two years ago, I think, my mom got me a um, homemade ice cream machine. So we've been using, putting that to work and using it. And the kids have been loving helping us and watching and taste testing the ice cream. So that's what we're doing. So we've been working on that as well. I say we, but really it's been Anthony making it while I've been like wrangling the kids. And so we found like two different recipes online. One was like more old-fashioned like a custard like old-fashioned vanilla and then one was like more of like a whipped like newer vanilla bean I don't know it's hard to describe but one's like the French yellow vanilla versus French vanilla versus vanilla bean Okay, Anthony says French vanilla versus vanilla bean. One's like the white vanilla ice cream and one's like the yellow vanilla ice cream. You'll know what I'm talking about. Hopefully you'll know what I'm talking about. Yeah, so we're doing that. Um, everyone else is making lots of different things. Cream puffs, cookies and cream pie, vanilla pudding, cinnamon rolls or something. So lots of different things that people are doing. And so we'll see how we end up doing. I went and bought like a bunch of ice cream toppings to go with our ice cream. And I think we're going to make the both ice creams, right? And just have people... Taste yes. them both. Well, you need to tell the viewers that you're not allowed to overlap what you're making. However, Shannon's brother has decided to poo-poo that particular rule, and he is making a ice cream pie, <laughs> which we called ice cream first. Therefore, we believe he should be disqualified. Well, I don't know if there's really a rule that you can't like both make the same kind of thing but it is it is like we just we were the first ones to say what we were gonna make and so them like 
just this week, my brother was like, oh, we're going to make ice, like ice cream pie, basically. But I don't think there's like any rules against it. So I don't know. We'll see. We're kind of more into the wine competition this year than the baking because of this whole ruse we have going on. We'll see how it goes. I'm sure I'll vlog um, a little bit of the competition I usually do each year. I don't know. Anthony, are you going to try some of this box wine? Sure. Yeah, you should try some of it tonight and tell me, like, if it tastes good. How does it look, YouTube? Ah, that's the finished product, huh? Finished product. I think it's... If you look at it too hard from up here, you're like, well, that's a weird cork and that's a weird wrap. But... They're not, they're literally not going to think about it. We'll just have to bribe your dad. I feel like, out. yeah, if anything, well, it'll, be, it'll be my dad. It might be your dad or it might be you because you can't drink any. Why would I give it away? Well, well you would. That's the point. Oh. I'm saying that you would be the uh, efficient of the oh. event or the coordinator yeah. or whatever. The person oh, who gets yeah. the wine and pours it out for everybody because you can't drink it anyway, so... Yeah, so I'm kind of sad because this year I can't participate in the wine competition, obviously, because I'm pregnant. I mean, I'm sure I could probably, like, take a tiny sip of each one, but I feel like I wouldn't even get, like, a good, like, taste of it with that. So I don't think I will participate at all. Maybe I'll just, like, pour all the drinks or something, give myself something to do. So that's kind of a bummer this year, but it's okay. All right, Anthony's going to try some. It's not as sweet as the one that won last year, but it is really, really sweet. It's yeah. It's basically nothing but sugar. Yeah. Well, I mean, you don't like sweet wines, so. No, this is terrible. <laughs> hate it, but at the same time. But is it going to win? I think it's going to be top two. I mean, hey, if it does anything better than last, that will be hilarious. Yes, that will be hilarious. Whoever brings a dry wine is going to lose. This one will be a dry wine. Yeah, so anyway, we'll see, but that's what we're going to be working on tonight is wine, and I don't know if we need to do any more with the ice cream or if we do it tomorrow, but yes, yeah, so we're getting everything ready. Also, tomorrow is my anatomy scan, so we're going to go, and we're going to see baby and also find out the gender. Yep, whatever so, his gender is. So drop your comments down below what you think. Wow, lots of comments this video, I guess. What you think baby is going to be, and then we'll make a video with the gender announcing it. I'm thinking it's a girl. It's definitely a boy. Anthony thinks it's a boy, so we'll see what it is. Either way, hopefully it's healthy, and hopefully the anatomy scan goes well. But I'm so excited because Anthony is going to come with me this time. So it'll be fun to go together and my mom's gonna watch the kids make sure to like subscribe <laughs> hit that bell and pay us on patreon we don't have a patreon but pay us <laughs> i didn't even know what a patreon was until like anthony's videos like none of the videos i watch on youtube talk about patreon oh don't steal our name on patreon <laughs> forward slash big money <laughs> oh, anyway anthony's working on the second bottle and we're just going to... Are you going to do all the bottles or are you just going to do two? I'm going to do all of them. Oh. Whoever wins gets all this. You think I want this garbage well, in mean, my house? I won't want it. You won't want it? No, it's going to go bad. So we'll just yeah. give six bottles away to whoever wins. Yeah. Because right. supposedly this has six and a half bottles of it. Now, mind you, we got this on clearance mm -hmm. for like, what, 20 bucks, Shannon? 20, yeah. So that means that each bottle here is like five bucks. Yeah. And you have a half bottle left afterwards. So, less than five bucks. My math's way off. That would be if it's $30. So, <laughs> yes. So, what, like $4? Yeah, it's going to be incredibly cheap. Even less. No, it's going to be three something. Oh my gosh, yeah. I bet you, like, <laughs> most of my siblings are probably paying, like, I don't know, like 30 bucks ish for their wine. Two bottles, remember? Two. And then that, double that. I'm sure my parents are getting some, like, fancy wine because they're old and they can afford it. So, yeah, that's kind of crazy. We are way cheaper than everyone else. 
So I really hope ours does good just because that just makes the joke even sweeter. But we'll see. Yeah. $3.33 a piece. Okay. So Plus each, a little extra. So each, even closer to $3. Each one of these are three dollars well minus the cost of the actual bottles that's true i mean honestly what we spent like with the bottles and then the corks and then the wrap like it it came out to be more than just 20 bucks for sure so Worth. i didn't think we needed the the labels but anthony really wanted it them. adds a little fancy twist to it although my label positioning is off from one yeah, to the other. <laughs> it is. Slightly. Not, uh, not, not too terribly. bad actually. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what people think. Even if like like Shannon keeps on saying, even if we're not last, it'll be hilarious. Yeah. Or, I mean, if even if we don't, don't get win. first, yeah. as long as we don't get last. Who cares? This isn't Ricky Bobby. I won't care if I don't get first. <laughs> if I don't get first, it'll justify their family. Allison, it'll justify <laughs> your family that um, uh, you have good taste in life. But we'll see. We will see. I'm excited to see what I, what this what this, the results are. The results. Hopefully, it scores high. <laughs> and then I don't know what we'll do next year. I have to think of some other ruse to do. This is our uh, Tuesday night here. Kids are in bed and we're just hanging out, huh? Huh. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, I think I'll just close out this vlog. This will just be like a one video vlog, I guess, of just what we're doing on a Tuesday night. So I'll probably record tomorrow with the anatomy scan and everything. And then, of course, I'll vlog on Thanksgiving. And then we have Black Friday and shopping and... So much to do, so much coming up. So I'll definitely make sure I pull out the camera and keep you guys involved. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.